An IR scam has the St. Joseph Police Department issuing warnings to area residents. Basically, they're telling these people that they owe back taxes uh, for one thing or another, and if those taxes are not paid, then the, the IRS will put a lien on their home or their property or something like that, and you know, this matter can be resolved quickly if you'll just send in some money. St. Joseph Crime Prevention Officer Sergeant Greg Gilpin says the department has received several calls from area citizens who have been contacted by the scammers. You just have no idea where these calls are coming from. I mean, it, it, it could be right here in town, or it could be clear across the country, or, or some other part of the world. That's just the way it works, and um, you just have to be very leery and just don't even deal with them. Just hang up. Our sister station, Q Country 927, was also contacted by the IRS scammers who left this message on the Q Country hotline. I need you or your retained attorney of record to return the call. The issue at hand is extremely time sensitive. I am Officer Julie Smith from Internal Revenue Service. Don't disregard this message and do return the call before we take any action against you. Goodbye and take care. A phone number to call back was also included. We tried to call back from a different number, and our phone call went straight to voicemail. Voicemail box of this account is full. Please try leaving a message later. Your message has been saved. You may hang up now. Our third attempt to return the call was made from the Q Country studio and left us with just a busy signal. Now it's... However, the scammers have already made several attempts to contact someone at that number. I, I just tell you to hang up the phone. Just don't even listen to their, you know, once they start asking personal questions and, and stuff like that, and you know it to be uh, totally um, uh, out, of, you know, out of line, just hang up the phone and don't even talk to them. Um, many of these callers are very persuasive. I mean, they have a well-planned, well-written script that they've rehearsed, and they're very good. They can really sound legit, and um, so you need to just be cautious. But if you think it's a scam, simply hang up. Uh, just don't even deal with them. How do you know that that's, that is a scam and that it's not something that's actual? Well, they're not going to operate that way. You're, you're, if you've got some legal problems with the IRS or probably any other government agency, you're going to be getting a notification Probably through registered mail, or if it's you know if it's serious enough, somebody's probably going to be coming to your home. But they're not just going to call you on the phone and randomly tell you that you owe money. Gilpin says scams like this usually take place around tax season. Yeah, you see this a lot around tax time when people are really thinking about taxes. But this is also the time of the year that people have saved up money for Christmas and stuff like that. So uh, I, I got the scammers probably figure you have extra money that maybe you won't have uh, throughout the year, so uh, it may be a good time to hit. 